Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be working with this model. It's a nice knob. I have similar internet and I want to model for you. Firstly we create a new part. And in front plane we create a sketch. After that we will create here a group of lines. So we'll be looking like this. And I will add this one. And last thing that I want to add, a long line and convert it to construction geometry. If you want to be able to give uh, diametral dimensions, you should use this one, such as this. Here we have a 40. Here we have a 55. This height is 5. Here we have a 12 and a half. And here we have 25, angle will be 7, everything looking black, and last thing, adding our spline here, and then one extra line to be able to give an angular positioning for spline, 7. Then we will create relations. We click our spline and then control is pressed and we click our line. We say tangent. Here also same operation. Tangent and tangent. Tangency values will be 12 and a half. 12 and a half. After this operation, I'm going to create here some additional things it won't be here just let it be like this our hole will be 10 height here 4 diameter 25 and then we close our sketch sketch is selected Evolve wall space and then we will select contours axis of regulation will be this one and after this operation we can look here normal to create here a sketch simply will be three construction geometry at first And then this two point will be symmetric and an angle, which is four. Later we close, we select our outer edge of top surface, convert entities, send the unnecessary side. And here I select, I took a line and I made a triangle, make them equal and giving a tangent uh, angle which is 90 we close this one and we open sketch we convert this three object and then we will have something like this it will be on the screen and then we make split line and now I'm going to make one more split line by using a front plane. I select front plane. I go to split line. Intersection will be active. And I do select two surface. After this operation, we can continue other operations. First sketch here, you can give him a color. Sorry. Sketch color. You can make it purple. And white plane selected. We go plane and we pick a point here. According to that white plane, the parallel plane will be placed on this point. After this operation, I'm creating a sketch. Simply, I do select a line, I do pick a line, 
and I place between this two point, the two line, making them equal, and same time we have a 90 degree, and we close with a line. Yes, everything looking fine. Now we close this, we hide this plane, loft cut. First profile will be this guy, and then the second will be this. Now we have guide curves. We click here white, selection manager. We pick this two line, right click, selection manager, this two object, and center line parameters will be refined a little bit better, the alignment. Select this one, yes. Yes, you have seen something has changed there. We click OK, but I think we will have a little body selecting problem because during this operation there will be extra body square created. But I will keep the main one. OK. And at the end we will have something like this. I hide my sketch. Now I can create a reference geometry. Select this hole. Create the run axis. Circular pattern, this will be our axis, this will be our surfaces, which will be copied, number of copies, 80. And then we have this nice model. There are some extra operations, let's finish them. On top surface, I have a 30 millimeter circle. We close sketch, extrude cut, depth is 1, it's 45 degree, and I do here a chamfer, 0.5, I'm going to create also here a chamfer, first a sketch, and then I create a circle and just um, the constraint them in this point. I close my sketch, I go extrude cut, flip side to cut, 45 degree, and then let's see what we're going to have. It's a nice chamfering operation. If you change this place state, you will see this nice model. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.